This video is a complete beginner's guide to MetaTrader 5. So that means I'm going to show you how to download MetaTrader, how to use it, and why do you need MetaTrader for your trading. So if that interests you, make sure you keep watching and make sure you smash that like button below the video so that I know that you like these type of videos. So first of all, let's talk about what is MetaTrader. MetaTrader is a trading platform which you can use to place your trade on the Forex market. So you can use MetaTrader as a trading platform and then you connect your broker's account so that you place your trades in MetaTrader using the money that is in your broker's account. So first thing that you need to do is to download MetaTrader 5. So download MetaTrader 5 on your phone. It's very easy. You go to Google Play Store and then you search for MetaTrader. 5. Once you search for MetaTrader 5, it's going to be the first application that comes up. Then you download it into your phone. Once you download MetaTrader into your phone, what happens is MetaTrader is going to automatically create a demo account for you. But if you want to use your real account, all you need to do is click on these three bars right here. And then you are going to see that you have a button which says manage accounts. So you click that button which says manage accounts right here. Once you click that button, you want to click here where it says add this plus sign right here, this plus sign right here. You click that, that plus sign right here. And then what you are going to see is you are going to see a list of brokers here. If you want to find your broker, you're just going to come here, type in your broker's name. If you want to use the same broker as me, I will leave the link in the description. You are going to choose your broker, which is right here. And then once you choose your broker, you want to just put your login ID and your password right here. And then you click your server to whatever your broker uses. And then you click log in. And then you are going to automatically log into your broker's account. In this case, I'm going to just use this demo account right here. So once you do that, you create your demo account if you want to practice or you create your real account if you want to go in with with your real money whatever you want to do that's you right the next thing that i want to show you here is how to navigate the, through this app right so the first page that i'm gonna show you here is the quotes page right here so this quotes page right here is the page that gives you every currency pay that you want to trade on as you can see right here we have euro usd gbp usd and all other currency pairs right here we can add other currency pairs here by clicking this plus sign right here once you click this plus sign right here, you're going to see a, a list of symbols, right? You can choose Forex. Then you choose any of these current pairs. You can also choose metals. If you like gold, silver, whatever you want to do, maybe you believe that gold can give you much, much more wealth, right? You can choose metals and trade metals. We also have indexes. We also have commodities. We also have a lot of things right here. If you want to trade like stocks, whatever you want to trade, you find it in MetaTrader. So this is the course page. If you want to look into any of these currencies, all you need to do is click on the currency and then you are going to choose here. If you want to look for the chart and see what happens, if you want to create new order, which is creating your first trade, you click this new order button right here. So in this case, I'm just going to click on Euro USD and then I'm going to click on the charts. We are going to get into the next page, which is the charts page, right? So this chart, this charts page right here is where you are going to see your candlesticks and that's where you are going to be doing your analysis right here so these candlesticks represent how the market have been moving we are going to do a lot of videos about that also if you like more videos on this channel make sure you subscribe so that you won't miss out when you come out with best content like this each and every week so if you click on the middle of this screen you are going to see this wheel right here which gives you the time frames these time frames is what determines which time frame are you looking for with this candles if you want to look these candles on these candles with like each and every one hour which is the one hour time frame so you can choose these time frames from one minute five minute 15 minutes 30 minutes one hour four hour daily weekly and monthly right so we also have these four buttons right here that the first one right here is for objects so if you click on the objects button right here right these objects can be drawing tools like rectangles trend lines fibonacci tools and all the objects that you can use to analyze the markets that's where you find this these objects right here 
we also have this gear button right here if you click on this gear button right here you are going to see that this is the settings of whatever you want to do if you want to change the colors of your candlesticks if you want to change any any of the settings about this chart this is a little bit advanced stuff you are going to learn it as you go also we have this f bar here here this f button right here is what gives you the indicators right you can add any indicators to the charts we can add bollinger bands moving averages macd any of the indicators that you want to do the moving averages and anything like that on the charts you can use this f bar here to go to that you can also use this cross here too here as you can see this cross right here if you click this this is gonna be showing you exactly where the price is as you are moving with your hand on your screen you are going to be seeing okay this is exactly where the price was at this point right here We're using this cross here too here you can use it also to measure your stop loss uh, with the pips and some things like that also you can see that on top of the on this chart screen right here you also have this cross here too here we also have this f button for indicators we also have this one which looks like a dollar sign for this one if you click this one you're going to see all the list of currency pairs that are on your course page right here so if you want if you don't want to shift from the chart page going to the course page you can just use this to right here now the next thing that i want to show you is how to place your first trade so to place your first trade it's very easy so let's say you just analyzed this market right here and on your analysis you think that this market is going to be going up so what you just need to do here is click this plus button here on top on the top right corner right here when you go there you go to this page right here this is where you decide your lot sizes and your risk on that trade so on this one you can change the load size right here you can change the load size whatever you want here if you want to use a standard load you can place right here your standard load this which is one if you want to use a mini load you can place your mini load if you don't know anything about loads pips the basics of forex trading i will leave the link in the description of this video so that you can get a free course that is going to teach you how to start trading from scratch so let's say i just use a, a standard load size here which means each and every pip is gonna be with is gonna be worth ten dollars and then i'm gonna be buying right here so I just click buy right there right you can also add stop losses take profits but i'm not going to show you how to do that right now because i want to keep this video a little bit short but i'll leave the link in the description you can get a full course that teaches you all those things right so once you place your trade you automatically going to be redirected to your trade page right here this is where you see your profits running this is where you see your losses as your market is going as you can see if this screen is blue you are going to be in profit if this screen turns red you are in loss so whatever money you are, you are going to be seeing here as the screen is blue is going to be profit so right now we have like ten dollars in profit on this trade right here and now it's gone on on to 25 26 dollars right here which means we are making like three pips right this on this trade right here so here you can see we have the balance the balance is your money that you are starting off with which is in your trading account the equity is the money that is in your account adding the profits of the running trade or subtracting the losses of a running trade in this case as you can see we have like 30 dollars in profits and and then our equity is hundred thousand and thirty right this is a demo account remember it's not my money then also we have this what is called margin so the margin is the amount of money that you need in your account for before you to be able to hold that trade with that load size so for in this case I placed a standard load which means each pip is worth ten dollars so for me to do that I needed at least one thousand dollars in in, in, in this case our balance this is a demo account our balance is hundred thousand but i only needed one thousand dollars to be able to place a standard load trade right like this so what is called uh then we also have what is called free margin free margin is the amount that is left in my whole account for me to place other trades so this margin here is for the trade that i placed if i want to place other trades this this is what is called free margin so if you have a small account like a 20 a 20 dollar 10 dollar account you would 
uh, understand exactly what I'm saying. So let's say my margin uh, for that trade I needed uh, for the ten dollar account I needed five dollars. So the left amount of money in the account is another five dollars. So that's the free margin for me to place another trade right there. So if you place more trades than your margin uh, allows, then your broker is gonna tell you that you have not enough money. Right, so this is what you need to understand about this page. Let's go to the next one, which is the history page right here. So for you to understand the history page, I'm going to go ahead and close this trade right here. So I'm going to go ahead and close this trade right here. And I'm going to close it right here with a profit of $27. Okay, just accept here. So we closed with a profit of $31. So we are going to go to the history page. The history page is, is what is going to show you all your profits for the day. If you click on this uh, calendar sign here, you can see for the last week, how many trades have you placed? How many trades have you lost? What are your winning trades? Your losing trades right there. So you can see here, we have our one trade right here because this account is brand new. I just created for the sake of this tutorial. So this is the MetaTrader 5 platform as it is. If you click on these three bars here, you're going to see a lot of another options right here. We have the journal page, right, which, which shows you each and every trade that you placed and whatever you have done. We also have uh, trading applications. We have trade signals. If you want to engage with other traders on MetaTrader, you can go here, trade signals. You can go to trade community, right? Trade community is other traders also if you want to engage with other traders in forums and things like that we also have trade community we also have trade applications which is things like expect advisors right so if you want to use robots eas and other things like that you can go to trade applications so to do that you need to create an account with meta codes right so i already have an account but i'm not gonna log in here because i don't want to expose my password for that so now that you have learned how to use metatrader 5 and you know how to place your first trades and you know the basics of this application the next thing is to learn how to analyze the market and make profitable trade for you to do that i have left the first link in the description is gonna give you a step-by-step -step formula which i use to place high probability trades in the market make sure you go into the description check the first link in the description and join me today